you know, uh, Capricorn, I like to say, don't let the peanut gallery dictate where you go in life and what you have or what you feel about what you have. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for uh, December. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera. Okay, so feel free to jump ahead to the start. As I always say, please take what resonates and uh, just leave what doesn't. Okay, and of course, uh, if, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you and of course use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality okay so let me just take these in and i'll be back so capricorn let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys i'm picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, th this is such a sweet reading simply because I feel like it demonstrates moving through challenges that we naturally get into when we're in relationships. It's, it's inevitable, isn't it? But I feel like, I mean, okay, so let's start here. It feels like you both have definitely established something. You've, um, whether that's, uh, you know, you're, you've been exclusively dating uh, or you're married, you've got a family, you live together. It's something that you've built that you're both kind of, uh, um, it's, in a, it's in a good place. It's represented by the Ten of Pentacles. So it's fulfilled. There's fulfillment here uh, in a tangible way. So again, you've either have a family with this person, you're married, you are living together exclusively, dating in a long-term relationship. It's that type of thing. It's something that you've built and established. It's something that um, is very much fulfilling in a tangible way, though. It's interesting because how you're showing up, as much as you're taking action when it comes to this, there's an element of you not... There's an element of you not being satisfied with something. Um, and I feel like that has to do with maybe others that have caused you to maybe doubt certain things when it comes to this relationship, drop little seeds. And I say drop little seeds, maybe it's just been, you know, uh, mentioned in conversation and it's, you've kind of taken hold of those ideas that this, these people or this person has potentially given to you and it's caused you to maybe question certain elements of this relationship again it's like I'm putting in action I'm putting in work I'm doing what I need to do but there's something that's not you're not satisfied with something that you're not satisfied with and I feel like it's to do with the balance of this relationship in terms of the give and take Capricorn because your person is coming up as the six which is talking about I feel like they're the beneficiary beneficiary is yeah the beneficiary of um, what's being given. It feels like they get more than what is, what they put in. Yeah, they kind of get more of, they get more, how do I put that? They get more than what they put in so that it doesn't balance out, so to speak. And I feel like maybe that, I feel like it's been brought to your attention by maybe others or just the peanut gallery, I like to call them, those that you know, comment on, 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 you know, other people's or, or situations like we all do naturally, but it's caused you to think. I feel like that caused you to think, process things, balance your thinking, but there was still, there was still this idea or hope um, that you kind of 
clung on to, which caused you to still feel like you've got something good here with this person, which is a good thing. So currently it's like, yeah, let me pull on that as well, see if we can, yeah, it's definitely, it caused you to process things, think about things, um, but there was this, yeah, do you see that? Still this hope and this love there that, no, I've got a good thing. I've got a good thing going here. So it didn't, it, you know, maybe it caused a blip. I say caused a blip because of where you're currently, what's in your awareness now. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute with this person here. One second. Yeah, well, maybe with this and with this person, it's like they just chose not to pay attention or see uh, certain things and you know the imbalance let's say that I feel like they was too excited too caught up in their emotions which didn't give them a balancing in terms of how to or, or their awareness of this imbalance let's say that you their awareness of this imbalance they either chose not to see it or it was brought to their attention, they heard rumblings, but just didn't maybe respond. I feel like it's this ignore, ignoring and not because they, you know, they just wanted to, they was just caught up. Let's just say that, caught up. Um, for you, 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 what's coming into your awareness is choosing to ignore these outsiders and actually protect what it is that you've got here. And I'm loving that. I'm loving that because what you have here, you've built something. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, Capricorn, I mean, people can say, you know, this is how things should be or this is how that could should be. And da, da, da. if it works for you, it works for you. If there's an imbalance in terms of, you know, this person at this current state of the relationship at this time, because, you know, there's an ebb and flow of relationships and they're kind of benefiting in some way, shape or form more so than you are. And you're content with that. You're happy with that. Then that's what it is. You know, don't allow anyone to convince you otherwise. Everyone's you know, wants and needs are different, you know, so I'm glad that it didn't allow you to come too much off track when it comes to this, you know, you're wanting to get back to a place where you're just fully content with this, it's like, you know, I'm content with this, I'm highly, very much committed to this, I'm not going to allow the peanut gallery to interfere with what it is that I got, and saying that this person is their perspective on things have changed is is changing. I want to clarify that because whatever that perspective is, that's changing. You know, and we're talking about the wild card here, which talks about you know the end of the cycle or the end of the journey. You've learned, you've seen, you've gone through enough to have a different perspective on things, and whatever that perspective is causing them is causing them to want to now give, to want to give you know, because they're wanting emotional fulfillment, and not just for them, for both of you, for this relationship, such a beautiful energy, I mean, look at this, we've got, you know, pentacles galore, this, this connection's abundant in some way, and when you have this type of connection, um, you know, sometimes, <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there, sometimes onlookers, you know, because of where they're at in their life, tend to, unbeknownst to them, sometimes throw you off your path or try to pick ho holes or poke holes in what it is that you've got, you've got, and maybe plant seeds for you to question and doubt what it is that you've you've got with this person or what it what it is that you've established. So we've got to be careful of people like that. Usually, at this point in the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture, and see where this moves to. Um, but as it's, and I will be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. But as it stands, like I said, you know, we've, it, it shows, it shows how dedicated or aware that you are. Um, I would say dedicated to this relationship that you are. Yeah. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week. Bye.